Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Can you listen? Okay, so today we will continue flexibility method analysis of trust. Okay, actually I have just picked uh, this diagram. Okay, uh, I just Google this one. Okay, this is the trust. Okay, trust. Okay, uh, one uh, one pin, one roller, one roller. One pin, one roller, one roller. Okay, uh, means that we need to check the degree of indeterminacy. And in degree of indeterminacy to uh, to calculate redundant, redundant for trust, we, we cannot use uh, the difference between unknown reaction and, uh, and three only because uh, in, in trust, we have to consider the member forces as well. So I believe you have learned, uh, you have also know that uh, the formula to calculate uh, the degree of indeterminacy for trust uh, we must include uh, we must include members so the formula is m plus r minus 2j you still remember that one it's m plus r minus 2j okay so this is the formula to calculate degree of indeterminacy where m is for member r for reaction j for joint okay and for 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 trust, uh, we actually have two types of indeterminate trust. We will have uh, we will have indeterminate trust. Uh, we will have externally indeterminate trust. Externally indeterminate trust. Externally indeterminate trust means uh, the redundant is come from is come from support reaction. Externally indeterminate trust. And we also have internally indeterminate trust. We have internally indeterminate trust where the redundant is come from member force. Okay, so to determine whether uh, it is, and it also have combination of external and internal. Okay, external and internal redundant. Okay, if we have more than one redundant. Okay, so uh, most important thing, we still need to uh, identify uh, because in the in one in one stable trust, in one stable trust, we must have at least one pin one roller in one stable trust. So uh, since this is pin, this is roller, this is roller. So still we need to calculate this. Okay, in order to identify whether it is internally or externally indeterminate trust. And by looking at the support, by looking at the support, we find that there are four unknown reaction. And when we minus by three, it is equivalent to one. Okay, one. Then, then only we can check the degree of indeterminacy based on the formula m plus r minus two j uh, minus two j. So there are five. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six uh, members. Sorry, sorry, six join. This is six join. Member, member, member first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9. It is 9 plus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 join. Reaction first. Uh, 4 minus join. 2 times 6. This one is correct. Okay. So M members, there are 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Okay. 9 members. Join, uh, no, R first, re uh, reaction, one, two, one, two, three, four. So there are four, nine plus four minus join. Join uh, six. There are six, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, yeah? Six join. So we get one here. Okay, we get one. This is equivalent to one. This is equivalent to one. So this value... This value is actually belong to belong to reaction, belong to reaction. So this this trust is called as externally indeterminate, externally indeterminate, externally, externally indeterminate trust. We call this as externally indeterminate trust because 
because the redundant is come from come from reaction externally externally in the in determinate trust to the first degree of indeterminacy okay how we get this okay we have to check using two formula okay to calculate doi doi we have to use m plus r m plus r minus 2j minus 2j and this is equal to member uh members 9 plus plus uh, 9 plus 4 join minus 2 times 6 2 times 6 2 times 6 is 12 so this is equivalent to 1 okay to check whether it is externally or internally okay we use to ca to calculate n n is 4 minus 3 1 okay so this value represent externally indeterminate externally if we for example if we calculate and we find that this one is equal to zero let's say this is three minus three we get zero so one that we get here one that we get when we calculate degree of indeterminacy is actually uh, is actually belong to belong to member force member force because we can have we can have uh, we can have member force as redundant as well we can have member as re as redundant as well but in this case when we check for this when we check for this okay 4 minus 3 is equivalent to 1 so automatically this value 1 that we get from the degree of indeterminacy m plus r minus 2j is actually belong to belong to this okay means that it is externally indeterminate trust to the first degree of indeterminacy okay as usual once we have determined once we have determined this uh, the redundant uh, number of redundant we have to choose redundant okay let's say we choose we choose cy i want to remove cy as the redundant i want to remove cy as the as the redundant uh, cy as the redundant the redundant so the process will be the same except the the formula for displacement okay will be different uh, choose cy as the redundant okay so from this and from principle of superposition from general equation okay always remember general equation actual actual trust equal to primary trust plus redundant trust okay that is from the principle of superposition the general equation okay so we write like this primary trust plus redundant trust redundant is cy cy applied is equal to actual trust okay because the delta in actual trust the delta at at c position in actual trust this delta c is equal to zero because we want to write equation which is equal to zero so we start the equation start from primary trust plus redundant cy applied is equal to actual trust okay so from this from this we should uh, be able to write the equation write the equation directly it is delta c naught or delta delta c naught plus fcc yeah so i believe everyone knows this already okay this one plus f times cy okay, this is equal to zero okay this is equal to zero so it is del it is delta it is delta one note one redundant this is f11 f11 cy c cy cy equal to zero so now from this we know that we have we have two displacement okay there are two displacement 
delta 1 naught and F11, delta 1 naught and F11, and delta 1 naught formula to calculate displacement in truss. 1 naught. Formula to calculate displacement in truss is we have to find the summation. It is it is n one n not l. It is n one n n one. Then n not n not n not times l times l. Okay, it is uh just like you analyze you analyze. Determinant thrust, you want to calculate deflection, we use formula uh, summation n times n times L over AE. N, one for, real, one for virtual, one for real system, times L divided by AE. So we have uh, we have to uh, uh, adapt, adopt that one and adapt into flexibility method. So we change, we change virtual system into redundant system and the member forces in redundant system is, is labeled as N1. And the member forces in primary system is labeled as N naught. Okay, so this is the formula to calculate delta one naught, delta one naught. So for F one one, for F one one, it is F one one. Okay, same uh, formula, but this time it uh, we we have. 2n n times n n1 times n1 because we re always refer to the, the notation f11 so this one is okay this one is n1 square n1 square n1 square over ae over ae okay ea ea same ea okay ea so in trust we have to consider the axial effect beam and frame we consider bending effect bending effect is ei EI or the flexural rigidity. EA is axial rigidity. Axial rigidity. So the thrust deflect due to uh, due to uh, the 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 primary deformation. Okay, in thrust is due to the axial effect. Okay, EA. Okay, EA effect, not EI anymore. Okay, and the member forces. The member for, or, or the internal forces in trust is member force. Okay, not a moment equation anymore. We don't calculate moment in trust. Okay, but the the uh, the internal forces in trust is is actually member forces. Member forces. So we uh, uh, it's uh, it still has two system. One is primary system. One is redundant system, and primary. As always, we label as not. So this time, for the primary trust, we label as N not, and for the redundant trust, we label as N one. We label as N one. So our task now is to analyze this trust. We have to analyze this trust. Okay, our task now is to analyze this trust. So this is the trust.
We have two trust, two trusses. We have two trusses. Okay, we have two trusses. One for primary trust, one for redundant trust. One for primary, one for redundant. Okay, we have the same trust. We have same same eh? same trust. We have same trust. One for primary, one for redundant. Same type because redundant is come from reaction. Okay, we have pin at A. So here is pin. Okay, we have pin. Roller here. Same, same support. Okay, uh, we have pin, yeah, pin. What about the loading? Okay, if you have 50 at E, 150, 150. Okay, remain external loading. Remain external loading in primary. Remain external loading in primary trust. Okay, and the redundant trust, it is the same trust subjected to a unit value of CY. Okay. So this is primary trust. This is primary trust. So we have reaction. Reaction A, X, A, Y, A, B, C, D, D, Y. D, E, F. So this is E, eh? E, this is F, A, B, C, D. Okay, we have 50. This one is 50, 150, 150. Okay. Okay, this is this is primary trust. Okay, redundant trust. In redundant trust, we have a unique value, a unique value of CY. So actually, actually at this point, at this point, this is CY. But what we do is we change CY to one times CY, and we just need we just put a unique value. In the system, a unit value in the system, and see why we we put outside. Okay, we put outside actually. Okay, we put outside. Okay, a unit value. So here is okay. Uh, due to the reaction, due to the support, due to the support, we have to calculate reaction. Okay, so we have a b. C, D, E, and F. Okay? So we have what we call as, what we call as primary. This is primary trust. Primary trust. And this is N, not. And we have Redundant. Redundant trust. Redundant trust. This is N1. Okay. So now, please calculate reaction. Please calculate reaction. 
One. Please calculate reaction. Two and three. Please calculate reaction. AX, AY and DY. In primary thrust. Please calculate. Okay, by the way, don't forget to take your attendance in the future, yeah? Okay, and uh, calculate also reaction for redundant system. Redundant thrust. Okay, calculate this one first. Once the answer is ready, please let me know. Eh? Maybe the answer is okay. So primary calculation, AX equal to negative 50. Okay, negative 50. Uh, AY equal to 133.33. AY? 133.33. Okay. DY? DY 166.67. 166.67, this. Okay. Okay, now calculate. Calculate this. AX is 0. AX is 0. Okay. What is AY and DY for redundant frame, a redundant trust?
prepare for presenting this lecture. Yeah. Sorry, that is right. Uh, for dy, I, uh, I've got negative uh, 0.67 kilonewton. 0.67. Yes. Okay. And then for ay, I got negative uh, 0.33. 0.33. Yes. Okay. Okay, now look balance. Okay, now we need to uh, determine or calculate the member forces. Member forces for these two systems. One is primary thrust, one is redundant thrust. Okay, we actually need to use uh, a method of join, but we do not uh, do it like what you have done previously when you when the learning outcome is is to uh, when the learning outcome remember when when the learning outcome is students should be able to calculate member forces using method of join okay that one is different this time we will use the member forces in in calculating redundant using flexibility method so we still use method of join but we do not need to show it one by one join like what you have done previously so we just uh, we just need to do it virtually Okay, uh, we, we use method of join, but we do it virtually. We call it as easy method. Okay, uh, and one important important characteristic that, that we have to uh, make sure that the, the system must be in equilibrium externally and internally. Externally is when we calculate reaction. Okay, just now you calculate reaction, right? So by taking equilibrium, uh, uh, equilibrium equation, is equal to zero, then we actually uh, consider the external equilibrium to the thrust. And beside that, we have to we have to uh, to remain uh, equilibrium internally. Means that at every join in the thrust, we have to we have to check we have to check whether this f total f x equal to zero and total fy is equal to zero and this we have to do one by one join so that is actually the principle that we apply in uh, in calculating the member forces using, using method of join but this time we do it virtually we have to make sure that at a uh, at a uh, we, we fulfill we fulfill this b fulfill this and so on until all join okay we must fulfill total fx zero total fy zero okay so to enhance back, back your understanding so we will do it together uh, for uh, for this example okay make sure that uh, once externally in external system is now equal in equilibrium now we can uh, calculate the member forces by picking any joint which has one unknown kita nak balance je ni kita nak balance dia mesti balance kalau x total mesti zero y total mesti zero okay we just need to uh, balance so how to do this okay balance means that at A, dekat A tu, dekat A, kalau kita buat using method of join, dia macam ni. Isn't it? If we, if we calculate using method of join, we do it like this. This is 133.33. This is 50. So this, this is FBC. Is F A B, F A B, and this is F F A E, F A E. Okay. Forget about this. Okay. Now, uh, in in y direction, how many unknown in y direction by looking at the arrow? Okay. We have three unknown. We have three unknown. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Okay, from this three. Okay, in Y and in X. Mana yang satu unknown? X or Y? Mana yang satu unknown? X or Y? Y. Y. So Y has one unknown. X ada two unknown. Means that we have to solve Y first. Solve Y first. So kita tak buat dah method yang macam ni. Kita uh, bukan salah tapi kita tak buat. Okay. Because uh, as I mentioned just now yang ni bila bila you learn uh, when you learn method of join. Okay. When you are asked to uh, to calculate member forces using method of join. Now kita tak buat macam ni. Bukan bermakna ni salah. This is correct. Tapi kita nak buat kaedah pantas. Okay, we call it as easy method kalau because kalau you buat macam ni, you tak boleh siap within 45 minutes. Okay, so we just straight away look at this diagram. Look at join by join. We start at A for example. We can also, also start at D. We can choose any join which has one unknown then we can start. Okay, so basically for one for a triangular like this, A or D, we can have one unknown. Okay, so we need to balance Balance in Y, 133.33. We need to balance that one. Okay, balancing. Okay, balance. One going up, one going down. Okay, so the green. Okay, the green arrow. The green arrow, the value is 133.33. Because dia kena balance. Total FY is equal to zero. So, yang ni. Yang hijau ni, 133. This is 133.33. Okay, because we want to balance, balance in X, eh, sorry, in Y. Total FY at A is equal to zero. Okay, then what we, to, what we need to do, we have to, okay, using vector. Using vector, we get this. Okay, using vector. Because between X and Y, for inclined member, between X and Y, Y will be depend on X, X will be depend on Y. Okay, so once we get, once we get Y, okay, we have to calculate X. Okay, means that yang ni step number one. Yang ni step number one. Yang ni step number two. Then only buat yang number three kat sini. Okay, so you have to follow the step. You tak boleh terus uh, letak nilai 50 pada AB. AB is not 50. AB is not 50 because we have 50 here, right? But AB is not 50. Total 2 plus 3 is equal to 50. Total 2 plus 3. Or total of uh, or negative 50 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 0. Okay, so we have to calculate using trigon first one using vector because we want to balance. We went, we want, we went, uh, we want to be, uh, use vector to get to get uh, in x direction. Okay, in and in vector the resultant force will be in this direction. Okay, so what is the value for number two? What is the value for number two? So all is 3 meter eh, 3 meter, so ini 3 meter, yang ni 3 meter, okay, yang ni 5 meter, so height is 5, okay, yang ni 5 meter, this is also 5 meter, okay, dia macam ni lah, dia macam ni, so we have A, we have A kat sini, we have 1, 3, 3 sini, so balance must be 133.33. Okay, 133.33. 133.33. Trust memang there is no option. You have to do lot of exercise. You have to practice. Okay, X we have 50. Macam ni. 50. And X we have, we have, we have 2. It come, uh, we have 2. Come from, come from AB. Come from one from for A B one one from the uh, uh the vector okay A E tu when we resolve resolve in X okay we get another unknown okay so 
what we do, what we should do is we have this trigonometry. This is five, this is three. For the vector, we have like this. For the vector, vector kita macam ni. Okay, vector kita macam ni, yang ni, yang ni. Ha. Vector kita macam ni, so 133 ni, 133.33 is this one, 133.33. Okay, uh, using Jessica. yeah. Ah, uh, sorry, there is a mistake for the reaction. Actually, for the dy uh one seven point seven eight. Dy one seven seven point seven eight. One seven seven point seven eight. So what about ay? Uh, ay one two two point two two. And for the ax remain. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so, so we start at A, we need to balance total Fx, total Fy0, we choose A because there is one unknown in Y direction, X, X uh, has uh, two unknown, so we have to solve Y first, so once you have uh, solve, balance, balance Y value, this is 1 to 2, 1 to 2.22, Okay, because this is belong to inclined member, so we have uh, we have x and y value, okay, which is depend on each other. Kan, they, they come from trigonometry, kan? Okay, so apa kita buat? So, dia macam ni. Okay, so now this is 1 to 2.22. So, 1 to 2.22. Ni A, eh? A. 1 to 2.22. Okay, this 1 to 2.22 equal to this 1 to 2.22. Okay, yang ni lah. Eh, bukan yang, yang atas silap, yang bawah. Yang bawah ni. Okay, 1 to 2.22. Ni sama, dua ni sama. Okay, now you have to interpolate to get x value. Interpolate using trigonometry, using this. Okay, we have 3 and 5. If 5 is belong to 1 to 2.22, uh, what is the value for 3, which is equivalent to 3? Okay, please interpolate what is, what is x value. Can you calculate this? Interpolate, it is 3 over 5. 3 over 5 times 1 to 2.22. 2. We do interpolation using trigonometry. Okay, we want to find x value. We want to find this value. 73.2. Berapa? 73.32 73.32 This one? Yes, yes. 73.32 73.32 Okay It means that It is 73.32 Yang ni 73.32 So AB for AB, what what should we get for AB? Total must be zero. Okay. okay. So we have 73.32, 73.32 and 50. And 50. So AB, what is the value? AB. So dekat sini, dekat A ni, we get, we get, uh, we get 73.32, right? So in right direction. So it is 73.32. So AB will be this. This is for AB. So what is AB? Uh, 
Okay, it is 123.32. So direction is in this direction. 123.32. Okay. So yang ni you have to practice ya. Yang ni, uh, yang ni opposite. Okay, opposite means dekat E tu, we have, we have one. 122.22 for y value and for x value is 773.32 as well lah. Okay. So, yang tu for AE and AB. And the value for AE is the hypotenuse. The value for AE is the hypotenuse. It is 73.32. And one to two point two two. Okay, uh, find the hypotenuse. Can you find this first? Hypotenuse, ni hypotenuse. Okay, what is H value? Uh, One. Okay, berapa? 142.53. Saya oh, bawa arrow eh. 1, 1, 4. 1, 4? 142.53. 53. Yang ni saya highlight for the hypotenuse. Okay. So, settle A, E, A, A, B. Okay, now, okay, we are now at join B, at join B. So, join B sama juga, we have to uh, maintain total F, X, 0, total F, Y, 0. And for B now, we have one unknown in X, one unknown in Y. So, this one, straightforward lah. Okay, so, we have to balance, we have to balance this. Balance this one. Okay, kita compare this two eh, ni dengan ni eh. Okay, balance. Okay, balance. And 150. And this also 150. Balance. Okay, we compare this and this. Okay. Because dia dua-dua pun one unknown. Uh, you want to solve X pun one unknown. You want to solve Y also one unknown. Okay, so balance lah. Balance. So boleh letak mana-mana lah. Tak payah buat trigonometri semua tadi tu. Okay. Trigonometri tu just for inclined member. Inclined member. So this one. Okay, this is 150. 150. Okay, this is 123.32. Okay, nanti at the end, at the end, uh, last join, kita akan, dap, kita, akan uh, kita akan check back and it should get zero for X and Y direction. If not, ada, ada error dekat reaction. Okay. So, any B lah. Okay, bila kita check macam ni. Kita check macam ni lah. Kat sini B, dia mesti ada, mesti balance between this. Okay, mesti balance. Okay, so now, now BC, we already get BC, we, we already get uh, BE, 150 for BE. Okay, now, now we focus on join C, join D, join E, join F. Okay, join we uh, join yang banyak connection tu, we do it last, uh, at, uh, last at the end. Okay, now we move to join D. We move to join D because D sama macam A condition dia. Okay, sama macam A, kita nak balance. So, bal nak balance ni. Okay, 177.78 going up, going down. Okay, and then complete the vector. So, we get 177.78 for the Y value. 177.78. 
And again, do interpolation. Do interpolation to find X value. Do interpolation to find X value. Okay, like previous also, trigonometry dia sama. Uh, 5 and 3. 5 and 3. So now, uh, Y is Y is 177.78. One, one okay, we want to find the value which is equivalent to 3. So we want to find X value. Okay, we want to find X value, this value, X. Okay, what is X? X equal to 106.67. Okay, 106.67. Okay, right direction. Lawan dia ni. 106.67. Okay, yang ni kena balance. So, dua-dua tu belong to D. Okay, so we get 106.67 untuk yang incline tu to the right direction. So, kena balance dengan left direction. Kat mana dia punya left direction tu dekat CD. Okay, CD. Macam tu. Okay. Okay, now CD done already. Uh, DF ya, eh? DF kita just need to complete. So, yang ni kena opposite. Opposite. So, X is 106.67. Y is 177.78. So, we find the hypotenuse. Okay, hypotenuse just like previous. Okay, use... 207.33. 207.33 eh, yang ni eh. Mm. Okay, 207.33. Okay, now we move to F. We move to F. Okay, now we have 1 in X, 1 in Y. 1 in X, 1 in Y. Okay, we have... Betul kan? Ah, betul, betul. Okay. Okay, what is EF value? Kita kena balance from from this. Yang ni kena balance dengan yang ni. So we get EF EF as 106.67. Okay, because kita balance dengan dengan 106.67 yang ni tadi. Kan? Okay. Okay, now. What is the value for CF? CF. Cuba tengok. We have 150 negative and 177.78 positive. Okay, ada difference kan? So, what is the value for CF? Arrow dia, atas or bawah? Arrow dekat F. Dia di... Bawah, eh? Dia di... Bawah. <laughs> Because we have 150. 150 dengan 177.78, ya? Yeah? Okay, tapi dia opposite direction, right? So 150 to get 177.78 what is what is the difference? 27.78 Okay now 27.78 dekat C pula Okay now we focus on C C yang X dah settle C yang Y belum settle So, C yang Y, 27.78 tu, balance dengan arrow ke bawah lah. Okay, balance dengan arrow ke bawah. 
We are need to 7.78. Again, this is inclined member. Inclined member. Okay, use vector. Use vector and use trigonometry. Okay, sama juga pakai 3 dengan 5. Pakai 3 dengan 5. So, what is x value? What is x value? X should be smaller than 27.78. Apa jawapan dia? 16.6. 16. 16.67. 16.67. 16.67. 16.67. Okay. dia? Hypotenuse? Between 16.67 and 27.78, hypotenuse? Thirty two point four. Berapa? Thirty two point four. Thirty two. Yes. Thirty two point point four. Yes. So ini setanding hijau ya. Eh? Okay, ada tiga incline member. Ada tiga incline member. Okay, now. Boleh check dekat E tu. Ha, you lukis yang cantik sikit. Bagi besar sikit diagram tu. Ha, bila kecil sangat diagram, ha, nak tulis pun tak tak muat. Okay, takut salah tengok. Okay, so dekat E. Now please check. Total Fx, total Fy. Dekat E, kita check together. Dekat E ya. Eh. Dekat E. So, sini E lah. Ni point E. Okay, we have 50 here. 50. And 50 lepas tu kat sini. Yang hijau atas tu. Yang kejap saya buka, nak buka arrow kejap. Sekejap eh. Saya nak buka arrow. Okay. So, ni 50 kan? Ni 50. Lepas tu yang ni pun X juga. 106.67. 106.67. 50. Lepas tu we have. Uh, jangan tak 50 belah sini lah. Okay. 50 kita tak belah sini. 50. We have 106.67. Okay, lepas tu apa lagi kita ada? Okay, yang ni, arrow ni dengan arrow ni. 16.67 sini, 16.67 sini eh. 16.67. 16.67. Lepas tu tengok lagi satu X dekat... Yang tu 7 is it 73 3.32 7 73.32 right x value Yang ni x ni kan Okay 7332 eh 7332 Right or left? Right. Uh, left, left, left. Left. Right. Right. 73.32. 73.32. So balance tak ni dua ni? Empat ni? Do you get total zero? Do you get zero in total?
Doktor, dia macam dapat approximate to zero to, zero, to okay. like 0.02 macam tu. Ah, then, then should be okay. Sebab kita ambil two decimal places. Kalau lagi banyak decimal places, maybe three or four, kita akan dapat lagi accurate. Kan? Tapi susah pula nak tulis penuh-penuh dekat situ kan. So, kita accept. Okay. Uh, 0.0 something kan. Okay. So, accept lah. So, yang ni total dia zero. Okay. Check for Y pula. Check for Y. Check for Y. Why we have 150. Sini 150 ke bawah ya 150 to 778 atas 122.22 atas juga. Balance ke tak tu? We have 150 122.22 and 2778 ke? Atas tu. 2778 eh? 2778 yang ni. 2778. So zero lah kan? 122.22 plus 27.78 we get 150 right? So? Uh, yes, yes doctor. Ah, uh, okay. So means that this one is correct. Okay. So the member forces N not Saya highlight dengan color biru ya, eh. eh color color hijau, color hijau, color hijau, color hijau for all member forces. We have A B negative one two three point three three, B C eh, sorry not negative positive. Okay one two three point three two for A B is positive, B C is positive one two three point three two, C D is positive one o six point six seven. DF is one is two zero seven point three three. This one is negative. This one is negative two o seven point three three. Okay, for CF, for CF it is positive twenty seven point seven eight. For CE it is negative thirty four, at thirty two point four. BE is positive one fifty. BE is positive 150. EF is negative 106.67. 106.67. Ada lagi? How many members? Nine right? Just now. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine. Nine members. Nine members. So all these we put into the table. So calculation ni saya akan bawa ke tepi. So kalau you nak refer lepas ni you tengok tepi ya. Eh? Okay, so saya bawa all this calculation dekat tepi ya. Eh. Hilang. Sekejap, kejap. Okay, if you need to refer. Okay, ah, uh, kat sini ya, eh, kat tepi tu. Okay, ni ya. Eh. So this is n not n not. Memang you have to number one betul betul kena faham kena faham uh, method of join tu dia punya principle dia is total f x total f y is equal to zero. Lepas tu kena tahu vector. Lepas tu kena tahu trigonometry. Okay, itu je fit dia. So this is called as easy method because tak penting pun you tunjukkan how you get n value. Okay, but the most important is the value itself. Okay, kita nak value tu because n, the n not tu, we want to to put into the table and we want to uh, determine the displacement. Okay, memang you have to uh, to practice a lot. Okay, try dengan trust yang uh, ada, uh, yang ni sembilan kan, ada banyak elemen, banyak member. So, please try to... Uh, to get get practice lah get practice to get familiar dengan uh, easy method using trust tapi yang yang uh, four element four members uh, boleh start dengan three members four members five members uh, yang ni sembilan that's why you nampak dia quite difficult okay tapi uh, practice make perfect lah do it uh, regularly so i believe everyone can okay normally yang susah dekat primary trust 
Yang susah lah sebab dia uh, ada banyak load, external loading kan. So normally bila masuk ke redundant trust ni, it will become easier lah. Okay, so konsep dia sama macam tadi. Okay, we do this. Okay, we do this. And kita praktis balik lah. Uh, praktis balik uh, easy method. Tapi guna guna redundant trust. Okay, so kita try to do this. Okay, so for A, B dekat A tu, kita balance dengan 0.33. And then use vector. Use vector. So dapat apa kat sini? Please calculate eh. Saya letak arrow dulu, you please calculate. Saya just letak arrow. So... Yang ni akan balance kat sini. Okay. Play dengan arrow. Play dengan arrow. Sebab arrow tu kalau one, one dengan one memang uh, you just put arrow in opposite condition. So yang ni jadi opposite. Okay. 0.67 bawah atas 0.67. Okay. Vector to the left direction. Macam ni. Okay, praktis letak arrow dulu. Okay, so dekat F tu, opposite dia, left. Left. Okay, dekat F, bawah, uh, dah ada bawah, kena ada atas. Okay, so dekat D tu, dekat D tu, arrow dia ke kiri, dia ada ke kanan kat sini. Okay. So satu lagi, ha, yang dekat E tak boleh lagi lah kena letak value baru tahu dia punya arrow kanan or kiri. Okay, kita start dengan A, interpolate, interpolate 0.33. 0.33, what is x value? What is x value if y is 0.33? Kita pakai trigonometri, again trigonometri 3 and 5. 3 and 5, so 3 over 5 times 0.33, what is The answer. What is the answer? Hopefully we can finish this question before 12. Please interpolate 0.33 using trigonometry 3 and 5. Zero point zero point one nine eight. Zero point one nine. Zero point one nine eight. Zero point two lah. Zero point two. Zero point one nine eight. Yes. Okay, so this is also zero point two. Okay. So this is zero point two. This is 0 0.33. 33. Okay, hypotenuse, please check. Okay, EB. Okay, dekat B tu, 0.2 tu, dekat BC also 0.2 because dia satu dengan satu. Okay, ni this is also 0.2. But this is for X. What about Y? Because we have BE. So what is the value for BE? Who knows? What is the value for BE? BE. BE ni, you jangan tengok dekat E. You have to look at B. Because dekat B, dekat B belum settle lagi. Dekat B ni, we have, we have 0.2, 0.2. Dekat B, total FY for B. So, ada tak nilai for BE? Tak ada. Tak ada. Tak ada. So, kosong. BE kosong. Yes, BE is ah, kosong. 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 Tak ada nilai. Mm -mm, tak ada nilai. Okey, kita tak ambil daripada E ya, eh. kita ambil daripada B. Sebab dekat E tu ada dua dua nilai Y. Dua nilai Y. 
So kita tak boleh simply letak je dekat BE tu 0.33 tak boleh. Okay tengok dekat B. So dekat BE is 0. BE is 0. So when BE is 0 automatic we get we get C CE punya Y. Kan? Sebab lepas yang uh, EB dapat 0, EC automatic dia kena balance 0.33 ni. Betul? Betul tak? Everything must be balanced. X and Y. X and Y. We get 0.33 ke 1 ke bawah. 1 ke atas 0.33. Okay. So, this should be 0.2 juga. 0.2. So, complete kat yang ni. 0.2 and 0.33. So, yang atas ni, atas ni berapa? Yang atas tu, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So, we get EF tu. What is the value for EF? By looking at this. 0 0.4. 0 0.4. 0 0.4. So, 0 0.4 dekat F D tu. FD, FD X value, 0 0.4. Sebab yang ni kena balance dengan yang ni. Kan? Nampak? Nampak tak? 0 0.4. And, and interpolate. Kurang jelas doktor. Kat mana? Yang 0 0.4 tu. 0.4. Okay, dekat F tu, dekat F, ada how many X? 1, 2. And only 2, right? Ha, uh ada -huh, tu. Ah, so dia nak balance, nilai tu lah juga kan, opposite direction. Opposite kan yang tu? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, opposite. Okay, now 0 0.4, 0 0.4 tu interpolate dapat tak 0 0.67? Cuba you interpolate. Because yang tadi D kita tak completekan lagi. So, we should get, kalau kita interpolate dengan 0 0.4, we should get 0 0.67. Kalau kita buat daripada atas lah. And kalau kita buat dari bawah, kan kita ada 0 0.67 we get from from DY, we should get 0 0.4 as well. Cuba check. Using trigonometry 3 and 5. Yes. Nampak ni. Nampak ni. Dapat eh. Okay. So this is 0 0.67. 0 0.67. So this is 0 0.4. Okay. 0. Kejap. Ada something yang pelik ke kat sini? 0. Point, okay. 0. 0.67. Okay. 0. 0.67. 0. 0.67. 0. 0.2 ni bukan untuk uh, CF eh. Okay. Now we want to find the value for CF. CF. CF will be 0. 0.67 as well. 0. 0.67. CF. Kan. Opposite ni kan. Yang ni dengan. Kejap. Yang ni. Ini 0.67. Okay. Yang ni. Balance dengan yang ni kan. Dua-dua tu balance. For F. Dua-dua tu belong to F. Dua-dua yang saya highlight biru tu. Belong to F. 0.67 lah. Sebab ada satu unknown only. Kan. Satu dengan satu. So, 0 0.67 dengan 0 0.67. Dapat tak yang tu? Hmm, dapat, Doktor. Okay. So, so, CD tu 0 0.4. CD also, CD is 0 0.4. Okay, 0 0.4. Tengok dekat C, ya. Eh. Now, let's join is C. Let's join is C. Kita tengok dekat C tu boleh balance tak? Dekat C tu. Okay, dekat C, ya. Eh. Dekat C ni, kat sini C, so we have 1, 
and then we have 0 0.67 and then 0 0.233 uh, 3. and then we get 0 point 0 0.2 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 nampak kan dekat C ya eh? fokus dekat C Okay, nampak dekat C tu? Okay, so C is the last join. So for the last join, we just need to check fulfill or not total FY 0, total FX 0. Okay, dapat? Dapat video. Okay, so dah balance every, uh, every join ya. Yeah? Okay, dah balance every join. Now we will, we will, okay. Okay, this is redundant, redundant trust. So this is N1. Okay. So, kita ada dua trust. Remember, one is re primary trust and not one is redundant trust and one. Okay. Sama juga sebab kita nak summation ni. So, because of the summation, lupa lah letak summation kat sini sekejap. So, ni summation ya. Eh? So, dua-dua kena ada summation. Okay. Summation ya, eh? summation member force N1 and not L dengan N1 square, tak habis buat yang ni. N1 square L. Kena kali dengan L ya. Eh? Okey, tak habis tadi tu. Okey, ni L eh. L. Okey, complete kan eh. N times N times L. Formula dia N times N times L. Okey, ha, ni baru complete. Okey. So, table, table yang kita nak buat ni, kita sebenarnya nak buat table because kita nak cari this total. Total ni. Sama juga macam analysis of, of, analysis of frame, analysis of beam. Bila kita buat table tu, okay, kita buat table tu, kita tengok pada formula. Sama juga dengan trust, when we uh, create table after this, kita buat table tu sebab apa? Okay, you don't you don't need to uh, to hafal uh, table kena ada A, kena ada B, kena ada C, kena ada D. No. Tengok pada formula. Apa yang kita nak dalam formula tu? Kita nak dua benda ni. Okay, tujuan kita buat table sebab kita nak kita nak calculate summation N1 and not L. Dan juga N1 square L. So, itu tujuan kita buat table. So, due to that, kita kenalah ada column for Column for apa? Kalau, kalau this will be uh, will be kita punya aim bila kita buat table. So for the table apa yang kita kena listkan? Apa yang kita member. kena list? Okay yes. Member lagi. Uh, lepas tu kita punya uh, reaction. No need, no need, no need to put reaction. Okay tengok pada dua ni yang saya bulat ni. Kalau table for beam and frame, kita ada M1, eh, M0, M1. So, table for trust, kita kena ada N. N. Tengok macam ni. N0, N1 dengan L. Okay, L dulu. Okay, we need L. Because dua-dua kena kali dengan L. Lepas tu, kita nak N, N not lah. N, N not. Saya copy ni sekejap. N not. Lagi apa lagi yang kita nak? N, N1. Tengok pada formula eh. Tengok pada formula. 
Apa lagi kita nak? N1 N0 L and N1 square L. Okay. And satu lagi is N, eh mana dia? N1 square L. Kan summation ya, summation ni bila kita total nanti kita akan dapat summation. Okay yang ni. So yang ni yang kita nak. Okay how many members? How many? One, two, three, four. How many members? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine members. Okay, nine members. Okay, list all the members. We have A, B, B, C, C, D. A, B, B, C, C, D, D, F, D, F, F, E, D, F, F, E, A, E, A, E, B, E, B, E, C, E, C, E, and last is C F. C F. Okay, we list all the members. Okay, length. A, B, B, C, C, D dengan E, F ni 3 meter. A, B, 3 meter. B, C, 3 meter. C, D, 3 meter. F, E also 3 meter. Okay. B, E and C, F 5 meter. B, E and C, F. 5 meter. B E 5. C F also 5. Okay. Uh, hypotenuse for triangular 3 and 5. Please calculate. Hypotenuse for triangular 3 and 5. For D F A E and C A, and C E. Five point eight three. Five point eight three, yeah. Five point eight three. Five point eight three. Five point eight three. Saya tambah satu lagi kolom untuk total, yeah. Okay. And not and not, yeah. Satu satu, yeah. A B, ah A B and not. A B is positive one two three. 0.32 BC also 123.32 CD is 106.67 Lepas tu DF eh DF tadi dah kira uh, 207.33 it is negative 207.33 207.33 negative ya yeah? 207.33 it is negative and then F, F E 106.67, negative also, negative 106.67. A E also negative 142.53, 1, negative 142.53. Okay, B E is positive 150, positive 150. C E, C E is negative 32.4, negative 32.4, negative 32.4, C F, C F, C F is positive, 2778, 27.78.
Okay, so that is for member forces in primary trust. In primary trust. In primary trust. Okay, next is N1. N1. N1 is negative 0 0.2, negative 0 0.2. Negative 0 0.2. Check balik eh, dengan yang you salin, 0 0.2. And then CD is, CD is negative 0 0.4. CD is negative 0 0.4. Okay. Uh, DF berapa DF? DF between 0 0.4 and 0 0.67. What is the hypotenuse? 0 0.4 and 0 0.67. It is positive. E, DF eh? DF please calculate 0 0.4 and 0 0.67. What is the hypotenuse? 0 0.78. Okay, 0 0.78. Okay, next is FE. FE is positive 0 0.4. This is 0 0.4. And then... A E eh? A E A E ni please calculate 0 0.2 and 0 0.33 0 0.2 and 0 0.33 what is the hypotenuse 0 0.2 and 0 0.39 0 0.39 eh 0 0.39 okay next is B B E B E is 0 E. Okay, sama tadi eh. Okay, sama tadi. This one is negative. Negative. Negative 0 0.39 eh. 39. CF is negative. CF is negative 0 0.67. Negative 0 0.67. Okay. Dapat? Okay, please calculate total. Sekejap, boleh tak saya copy ni terus? Okay. Okay, saya nak kakrit eh, total eh. Okay, you kakrit guna kakretor eh. Boleh double check. Dah tak masuk. Boleh kena tak? Okay, the first one is negative. 73.99 bawah negative 73.99 negative 128 please double check ya eh? negative 942.8 negative 128 negative 324.1 and then 0 and then 73.668 
and negative 93.06. Okay, for N1 square L, it is 0 0.12, 0 0.12, 0 0.48, 0 3.547, 0 0.48, 0 0.887, 0, 0 0.887, and 2.2245. 2, so total Okay this is the total So summation n1 and not l is negative 1 6 90.27 and n1 square l equal to 8.765 nanti you take time calculate guna calculator eh tengok uh, is it right the answer this answer okay so we have done table so we get a uh, total n1 and not l and n1 square l so these two values we will now transfer to compatibility equation. Okay, we continue the compatibility equation. Compatibility equation. Compatibility equation. Okay. This one is the format. <laughs> over EA eh? over EA Like this lah. So, bawah ni EA. Okay, bawah ni EA. Okay, uh, primary trust. Negative 1690.27. And F11 is 8.787765. Okay, uh, so value in the table that we get, masuk sini lah, sini and sini. Okay, so now we already got the compatibility equation for the trust. So now we will solve to have the redundant. Okay, solve for the redundant. So it is CY CY is equal to one six nine O one six nine O point two seven divided by eight eight point. Seven six five. You all boleh ikut tak ni? Okay, what is the answer for CY? One hundred and ninety two point four. Point four. Like this? Eight four. Eight four. Jadi ya, kilo Newton. 
Okay, now we will continue to calculate two things. Okay, in trust, beside reaction, beside reaction, we have another one that we have to calculate after reaction. Okay, it is member forces in actual trust. Okay, we start with calculate reaction first. Okay, we now calculate reaction. Reaction. This is remaining reaction, yeah? Remaining reaction. Okay, using principle of superposition. Both will be using principle of superposition. Okay, reaction first. Always remember, okay, the general equation, general equation, general equation, actual trust equal to primary trust plus redundant. Redundant CY in this case, apply. Okay, now we want to calculate AY. We want to calculate AY in actual trust. So, so what is AY in primary trust? Just now we have, we calculate. 1 to 2.22, eh? Okay, AY is 1 to 2.22. It is 1, 1 to 2.22. We plus with AY in redundant trust. AY in redundant trust is negative 0 0.33. It is negative 0 0.33. Times with CY, times with redundant, and redundant is 192.84. Okay, total, eh? total on your own. Okay, now we have AX, AX, again, AX in primary trust plus AX in, in, in redundant trust. AX in primary trust is negative 50, negative 50 plus with 0 times with 192.84. We get this as negative 50 kilo Newton. Okay, and we have dy, dy equal to Okay, look at dy value in primary trust, 177.78, 177.78, okay, plus dy in redundant system. dy in redundant system is negative 0 0.67, negative 0 0.67. Negative 0 0.67 times with redundant 192.84. Okay, yeah, you just need to complete this lah. Okay, that is for remaining reaction. Okay, last objective in trust analysis is member forces. Okay, so calculate now. Calculate. Determine lah. Determine. Member forces, of course, in actual trust, because original is actual, actual trust. Okay, so what is the formula? Do we need to, okay, when we want to calculate the member forces in actual trust, do we need to uh, use easy method uh, again? Or we can use the principle of superposition as well? What do you think? Yes, because we have N naught, we have N1, and now we want to calculate N. Now, we want to calculate N. N is member forces in actual trust. N is member forces in actual trust. Okay, look at the formula, uh, the, the, the general equation. N N is member forces in actual trust. We have N naught, which is member forces 
in primary thrust and we have N1 which is member forces in redundant thrust. And always remember what is inside the redundant system, we must times with redundant. Okay, so in primary thrust, we have N0. In primary thrust, we have N0. In primary thrust, we have N0. And in redundant thrust, we have N1. We have N1. And everything in redundant system, we must times back with redundant. Times back with redundant. Redundant is CY. C, C, Y. Okay. So this is for the member forces. So we simplify this equal to N naught N naught plus one nine two one nine two point eight four N one. So this will be the equation that we get from the principle of superposition to calculate member forces for each for each members so we do in the table we do in the table we have nine members we have n not n1 and uh, n not n n1 so find n so in the table so we actually can add another one column here or you can also uh, you can also create a new table just for the sake of finding N. Insert, insert, right. Okay. So. Kalau nak terus tambah sini pun boleh. Kalau nak buat another table pun boleh. So, this will be N. So, N ni apa? Guna formula tadi tu lah. Guna formula ni. Okay. Guna formula ni. To calculate the member forces in. Member forces in actual trust. Actual trust. So, that is the end of analysis. That is the end of analysis for indeterminate trust to the to uh, to the to the first degree of indeterminacy. Okay, kena practice a lot. Okay, procedure still still, still the same. Ah, uh, cuma ah uh, ah uh, you kena get familiar lah dengan ah uh, dengan easy method. How you want to get N0 and N1 because normally kat situ yang selalu problem. Okay. Uh, so the rest all the same procedure or the same procedure. Uh, cuma uh, you have to understand that in trust analysis reaction is not the end of analysis because we need to we need to calculate also member forces in actual trust. Okay. Member forces in actual trust. So find find the remaining reaction as well as member forces using principle of superposition. So you always need to remember the general equation, actual structure equal to primary structure plus redundant structure. Okay, that's why you tak payah tulis pun. Tapi kalau you still need to write in order for you to, to get familiar, so doesn't matter. So this is all the process. This is all the process in trust. Okay, before we end session today, Okay, normally, when when I uh, learn about this in my degree time, I also uh, in my subject also I will also learn uh, learn one software in order to in order to compare lah to compare. So, yang kita buat ni is theoretical calculation, theoretical calculation, and uh, nanti kami akan masuk lab and then buat satu. Uh, buat uh, draw balik diagram ni in the software and run and we will get 
uh, the, the 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 reaction and the, the member forces and then nak check lah uh, whether the theoretical calculation uh, same or not with the uh, the the value that we get from from software uh, tapi uh, for time being uh, benda ni tak ada dalam syllabus uh, so kita tak buat lah yang nombor dua ni uh, yang yang mastan program tu kan tu semua tu software lah ok uh, kita tak buat lah benda ni ok so kita just focus on theoretical calculation Theoretical calculation. So, kalau you buat dalam lab, dalam lab kalau you jumpa soalan indeterminate frame, if you need to compare with the experimental testing, you dapat displacement uh, and then uh, you nak calculate reaction, you nak calculate member forces. So, this is actually the theory. Okay, start with as usual. You, have, you need to identify degree of indeterminacy the first step. But for trust, you have to identify whether it is internally or externally. Okay. So externally kira kira guna 4 minus uh, 4 total annual reaction minus 3 kalau ada value dekat sini so redundant means from this kalau sini value dia 0 but di, uh, yang atas ni dapat 1 means uh, satu yang kat atas ni belong to belong to member force macam yang ni dia satu ni belong to this lah okay this is externally indeterminate uh, trust okay choose to remove uh, one of the reaction we choose cy so we get the compatibility equation Okay, we use the standard form, we use numbering. Okay, this is the formula. The formula ni we we adapt from unit load method. Okay, where n times n times L over AE is the formula. Okay, this two. So, using yang atas ni, N1, N0, L and N1 square L. Yang ni yang guide kita, apa yang kita nak masukkan dalam table. Because we want N0, N1, L, we must have N0, N1, L as single column. Masih-masih punya column. Okay, and we, we also want N1 square L. Okay, uh, so member forces ni we get from two system, primary trust and redundant trust. Memang you don't, you need to, you need to uh, get all N0 and N1. Without this member forces, memang you tak, sampai, tak boleh siapkan table ni. So, so member forces is very important. So, dapatkan all the member forces and find the summation because kita follow formula tu. Kita follow this formula. That's why we have to get the get the total. So so this total, this two total, okay, we substitute into the compatibility equation. Now in terms of EA, axial uh, axial effect yeah, in trust in terms of EA, and when we rearrange back, we get CY, okay, CY like this, and we use this CY to complete the remaining. So we have remaining reaction using uh we have three remaining reaction. We, we solve using principle of superposition like this. So, please complete this. Okay. And we have another another goal. Uh, uh, the member forces. The member forces N. Eh? The member forces N. So, the member forces N. So, this N will uh, also be determined by using principle of superposition. Kita produce one equation lah for that. And not an N1 inside. Okay. This is redundant value. Redundant. So, we just need to add another column for n. So using this, using this, we need to complete all this. So all this is the final answer. Okay, final answer for this trust. This trust we analyze using flexibility method. Okay, that's all. Do you have any question before we end session? Do you? No question. Aku dua belas ni. Tak ada soalan. Balik buat balik. Okay, try buat balik sampai you faham. Okay, you akan nampak nantilah it is just uh, like beam and frame except the formula. Cuma uh, member forces tu lah is uh, normally will be the problem. If uh, if you pass to do this, then you should be able to face, uh, to do, do until the end. You will not face problem lah if you understand about, about, the, uh, about the easy method. How we can get member forces using easy method. Okay, so this is for one redundant, remember? For two redundant, we will have three system. 
for three redundant for two redundant we will have three system this is one redundant okay i will uh, have uh, another one example which i will discuss with uh, class uh, this uh, this evening okay yang ni yang ni is another example another example but this time this time member force is the redundant member force is the redundant kalau yang you yang kita bincang sekarang sekarang ni reaction is the redundant but for uh, example uh, this question okay yang saya akan discuss petang ni uh, yang ni is when member force is the redundant so bila saya cover yang ni so dah cover lah uh, trust uh, trust punya part dan nanti saya akan buat extra session for uh, for example in, uh, that we need to consider effect which call as uh, temperature changes and fabrication error. Okay, that's all for this session. Thank you very much. InsyaAllah we will meet again uh, next time, next session. Okay, uh, kelas hari Kamis tak ada eh? Hari Kamis tak ada, nanti kita ganti masa lain. Dah, dah ganti 20 hari Ahad. If we need uh, extra uh, session, kita akan ganti bila-bila lah bukan this week. Okay, so thank you very much. InsyaAllah uh, uh, we will meet again. InsyaAllah next session. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Okay.